Good Super Bowl Sunday. Good Super Bowl Sunday. Today is February the 13th. Um, 9 a.m. 9.22. Um, what are we headed to go do? Um, so yes, so Jessica. So if you watched January's vlog, you saw that I connected with a new client, Jessica. Um, she went under contract on a townhome, decided to terminate that contract. Um, she got COVID for a little bit. So now we are reconvening and hitting the streets again, looking for some properties. Um, been doing some work, been working behind the scenes for her, just trying to, you know, find something that she's going to be comfortable with, but that is within her comfortable budget as well. Comfortable living area, comfortable location, and comfortably budget-wise. So we're not working. We're not working with a huge budget. Um, so it's, it's it's taking me some work, but that is okay. Um, that's uh, ain't no complaint. Um, so yeah, we're headed to go. One property is currently being built. I want to say it's in framing stage. I'm going to go take a look at that. I spoke with that listing agent yesterday. Um, <clears throat> there's some other things that we'll need to do to be able to qualify for that property. It's under affordable affordable housing, so you have to have some... I ain't even going to go into detail with it right now because I don't know the full details. Um, but she'll qualify for it because, like I said, she's qualified for these other um, programs as well. So I'm gonna go look at that and then there's another one I'm in a different location um, so we're gonna see if any of those locations you know feel safe to her look like an area that she would want to live in and we'll just go from there yep and both of these are new construction clearly one is being built and then the other one is also being built Happy Sunday. And these are the properties in the area just to kind of get a feel um, some some older houses, some newer houses. It's a, a little mix of everything, but it doesn't look bad. Like it doesn't. It's it's not too bad, you know. So let's see. Let's see what just got. So we're at the second property. Still can't get inside this. I don't know what's going on today. These people ain't answering with lockbox codes. But this is a corner property. This is the street we are in. Where are we? This is like Northeast Houston-ish. This house should be done the end of March. We were trying to figure out like what was the point of this little sidewalk. But I mean, questions that need to be answered. <laughs> Good day, y'all. I would say good after. <clears throat> I would say good morning because I've been sitting here on this couch <laughs> for hours. But it is 117. I literally just looked up and this Monday is Monday and it is Monday. Happy Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day, Monday, February 14th. And I've been behind this computer all day. Mondays are normally like this for me, though, right? Like just touching base with clients that I might have spoke to at the end of last week, buyers that need to be working on getting pre-approved, or just, just a whole bunch of following up. Um, So that's what I'm doing. I won't even bore y'all with the mundaneness of it all. Um, But I could, like, work out this morning, came home, hopped in the shower, and then... I hadn't even had time putting on no clothes. I'm still in my robe. <laughs> um, that's the good thing about working from home. Um, but anyways, um, a few things are happening. But y'all know. I am I know some of you all said you like the longer vlogs. But I'm going to try to do these shorter vlogs. Which means like... Still details. Still details. But not as much. 
Um, but yeah, sending emails. I've just been like going from client to client to client to client all morning. And it's just like, okay, touch base with this one, touch base with this one, send these lenders these email, do all of this stuff. So it's it's good, it's great. Um, my mother sent me a lease referral because she don't want to do it. So that's that. Need to probably touch base with that young lady next. Um, working on submitting offers for Jessica. So I didn't really show you much of what we saw this weekend. One, because I couldn't get into either of the properties. Um, and then just, you know, limiting. Um, but one of the properties we have to wait to get a certificate of income or something from the city of Houston that says that she qualifies for this particular home that is in the affordable housing program with the city of Houston. So we need that first before we can even submit an offer. So working on getting all those documents in, um, there's another, the other property that we saw, um, just going to go ahead and submit an offer on that one. They are asking for an appraisal waiver, which I run comps and things, and for the amount that Jessica would actually be financing, it should be fine, but I've went ahead and sent that information over to her lender, so we're waiting to get numbers back because she wants to know, of course, closing costs estimate and then what her monthly mortgage would look like on both of those properties. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and just other stuff, y'all. So that's where we're at with it on this lovely Monday. It's half of the morning, good people. It is 8.57 a.m. February 15th. And I am I am currently headed to go volunteer at Kids Meals. Um, it's, it's, it's a place where, you know, like you, you put meals together and then deliver them to kids. So I'll be doing this from like 9 to 12 this morning. This is an a event via my brokerage. Um, so y'all know I talked about switching brokerages in a few blogs ago. Um, and we all we have just like a calendar full of events, um, multiple events every week. So whenever I can fit something in, I'll do it. And not everything is necessarily volunteering. Some you know are just classes, some like workout things, just all kind of different things, just to network with different type of businesses. So this is something that I chose to do today. I'm excited about it. Um, and then later today, after this, um, I'm meeting a um, client in Brazoria, <laughs> which is about maybe about an hour or so away, just depending. Well, it might not be that far because I'm actually in the city right now in, in Houston. Y'all know I live in the suburbs. So I'm going to go out there, show him a property. He hasn't been like super active, actively looking. So we had a one, um, we had our buyer's consultation. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we had our buyer's consultation, um, I think in January. And I haven't really heard much from him. He said that he wasn't really in a rush, just kind of wanted to find something um, this year, where's uh, oh, with my GPS? Okay, um, so he sent me a house the other day. He's like, This is something that would be interesting. He's looking for like acreage, and out there in Brazoria, you know, you'll be able to find that. But he's also still wants, you know, like uh, a nice house. So we, we found something, so we're gonna see. You know what? I feel like I've volunteered over here before. We're gonna see what happens with all of that, y'all. But um, let me let me get my life together and figure out where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so let's get your hand at first, yes. And then the gloves are back here in this cubby. Done from 
squeezing jelly. <laughs> I swear I made like 500 PB&J sandwiches, <laughs> but it's nice to be a blessing in whatever form and fashion. So got that done for the day. Now I am I'm a couple minutes away from this appointment, this showing um, here in Brazoria, seven minutes away. I really don't know this area that well. He's from here, so that's a benefit because ask me anything about out here and I'd be like, uh. So sometimes, you know, it's hit or miss, you know, to be honest, I don't live in Brazoria. I don't know the area like that, so I can't really give like any, you know, like facts. Or the, well, I mean, I could get facts because I can look those up, right? But opinion on location and things like that, um, I don't know. So I'm, I'm hoping he knows. Um, really, I was, I might be, well, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna look at this house and, and see what he says, you know, if, if, if it's something that he wants to make a move on or not. Um, and I'll, I'll show y'all too. All right, we've arrived. An hour and 15 minutes away from the city of Houston, Brazoria. This is the house. It's so peaceful out right here. Like, this is really the type of living that I want to do. <laughs> so this is the inside of the house, y'all. It's very simple. Open floor plan. Looks like it's been taken care of really well. Real hardwood floors. You know, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. It's cute. Um, the house itself isn't that big. Probably say about 1,500 square feet or so. A couple of bedrooms. A bathroom. Oops. Same nice updates to it. So it gives like good farmhouse feels. This is the primary bedroom. And then have a little vanity area. Sink. Nice walk-in shower there. But the benefit of this property is the asking price. Asking price is three eighty nine nine, three hundred eighty nine thousand nine hundred dollars. Um, but it's sitting on two and a half acres. So you see where they're getting their price point from. And it's really nice and peaceful out here. Tax rate is low, 2%, no HOA. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. He's not in a rush. First time home buyer, young guy. Um, this is his first property he's ever looked at. So who knows how long we'll be shopping, but he has good energy. Uh, I like it. So, uh, we're Smart Houston, Smart Boxing, Smart Kitty, Smart Miami, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Um, June and I are really good friends. Hey y'all, today is the same day that I went and worked out, but I don't even think I spoke. Today is Thursday, February 17th, and the silliness that just occurred is comical. Like, I just, so for the longest amount of time, like the past month or so, uh, you know, and I, silly on my part too, because I knew, I knew. The appraiser for Antonio's house has been going out and she keeps coming back and saying that things are not completed. And then I would go back and tell the builder, the sales guy that we've been working with, she's saying this, this, and this isn't done. And he's like, that's weird because I, the build, whoever, somebody else is telling him this, this, and this is already done. Um, so 
and I wasn't talking to her directly. So there's something in, there's, there's something that's going on. So some okay. So I wasn't talking to her directly. I was talking to the lender schedules the appraiser. The appraiser normally talks to her, you know, whatever. But she called me this morning and she was like, I just want to know is the house done because they keep sending me out there telling me it's done and it's not. And I'm just like, well, from what I know, the house is done. We're just um long story short, y'all. The appraiser been going to the wrong house. <laughs> I'm texting Bailey like the appraiser just told me this morning that there was no floors in the house. Little did I, and I was kind of in the midst of doing other things when she called. So I was like, didn't even think about it. But when I went and looked at the house, the floors was already in. So sis, what are you talking about? Like that should have been my response earlier, but my brain was somewhere else. So I just told her, I said, you know what? Let me get with the builder. Um, let me have him go double, triple check with his own eyes. I'll go double, triple check with my own eyes tomorrow and just, you know, just to make sure. So he's like, the floor is in. I'm looking at whatever paperwork. The floor has been installed since two weeks ago. Appliances are in. Everything is in except for the side. And I said, so what could it be? He's like, she's probably going to the wrong address. I said, what you mean? He's like, the street over has the exact, the exact number, different street name. And I'm just like, but every time? Or just like, I don't know. So I call sis back. She hasn't answered. But that has that that has to be it. Because if Bailey said he went and looked with his own eyes, he knows the house. Because he sold us the house. He knows what house it is. He knows me very well. He, he knows what house it is. The only person that don't know what house it is is the appraisal. <laughs> Goodness. I'm like, girl. And then they actually, we were supposed to be closing next week, Tuesday. D.R. Horton pushed back. Our closing date for I don't know what reason, but they pushed it back. So we're closing next week, Friday. But it little you know, cutting it close or cutting it close um, before the month ends, right? Because originally we were like, oh, we may close like, you know, mid January, early February. Girl, bye. It's the end of the month. So that's what's going on with that. Sharon and Isaac finally completed their first phase inspection today, the pre-pour of the foundation. They had jumped the ball the other day and sent out their inspector before anybody um, gave them notice to send the inspector. So there was a little hiccup there, but we got that done today. So they should be pouring the foundation on their property today. Yay. Um, and there's other things going on, but y'all know. Anyways, um, Anything else to update y'all on? Mm. Oh, that's it. See y'all tomorrow. Top of the morning, good people. Today is Friday. I keep thinking today is Thursday, but today is Friday, February the 18th. I am headed to go meet um, a client that just recently got under contract with another DR Horton property. Um, you didn't get to see the house shopping because honestly, this is like one of those moments as a realtor that you just be like, yes. Um, so this is a friend of my father's that I had never met until um, last summer, I think like June, um, she came into town and we had lunch and she told me she was wanting to move to Houston, but she wasn't exactly sure when that move was gonna happen. And, you know, like we've just kind of stayed lightly in touch here or there. Um, and then randomly um, a few days ago, or maybe last week was it last week i don't know but she called me and she's like hey like say you know like just to get to it she's like you know i want to just know if i can use you as your <clears throat> i want to know if i can use you as my realtor like do you have time and i was like sure yeah you know and so and i'm just going you know talking and thinking hey she's ready to start looking houses and, you know whatever she's like no 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 i'm actually already here i found the property that i want new construction i'm sitting in the office um, you know, I just need to put your, I just need your information. And I was like, I was like, what? Which, you know, like, that's, like, that's always amazing. It's like, not to sound lazy, but oh, sometimes it's like, yes, yes, <laughs> thank you. So that was how she got under contract, you know, but she called me yesterday and the house is being built. It won't be done. <laughs> they gave a time frame of like between May and August and I was like what kind of time frame is that well whatever so but she has some questions about her um 
the financing of it, right? Because the house is a certain price point. I think it's like three eighty-five. And it, she sent me um, the closing disclosures, like the early closing disclosure documents or whatever. And they have her quoted at a four point two five interest rate, um, which is basically pushing her mortgage over what she's comfortable with it being. Um, and as you all know or do not know, like you can't really lock an interest rate in. You not even really. You can't lock an interest rate in this early. So like, if you're not going to be closing until later on down the line, months from now, you know, it's not possible for her to lock in these current interest rates. That is one of the things with new construction that, you know, it's like, mm, you have to just see what the rates are when it comes closer to you closing on your property, usually about 30 days out or so. Sometimes you can lock it in a little earlier, just depending. I'm not a lender. That's more of a lender question. So right now I am headed to meet her at um, the lender's office. She called me yesterday and asked me to um, meet her there. So I'm gonna do that and we're just gonna um, go over just, you know, the financing of it. And you know, I'm just there to break things down in layman terms, really, because sometimes these lenders just be talking numbers and going over your head and you know i'm there to help you understand it to like the most basic form of like understanding it so and i haven't seen her since last june or july either so it'll be nice to see her too all right y'all got all the information we needed from dr horton <laughs> Camille, she's so cute she's like she doesn't feel better but at least she has a better understanding of everything so it's just the um i told y'all the estimated closing disclosure that breaks down all the numbers and it's just a whole bunch of numbers and a whole bunch of words that you know if you're not used to looking at that document you're kind of confused as to what this and this is so she was beyond generous enough to go over everything line by line i know what pretty much every line means but every lender is different as well as to how and why they plug in certain numbers so um you know it's always just best for them to go over it and i'm just there to support all right now it's 12 o'clock gonna i know you lying oh yeah you lying um i'm gonna head into the city um today i'm shooting on like just I feel like and it has been like the last month I've just been shooting video after video after video um, but I'm y'all know doing the black history thing so today we're going to Third Ward Texas <laughs> um, and we're gonna learn some black history over there aka where Beyonce is from so yeah let's do that alright and we're moving right along with the day I am in Third Ward, Texas. Um, all these houses, I'm on what is called Project Row. Um, and it's really like a, kind of like an art exhibit. And they rotate like out some of the houses and when you go in, of course they depict what these homes were like in the 19th century, you know, 20th century all all of that so i think we're gonna shoot a little bit out here <laughs> good sunday morning february 20th um having a little little praise session on the way to these two showings this morning showing jessica some properties again on this lovely sunday um i'm pretty sure i told y'all that you know the other house she has to submit some documents and get this form from the city of houston so we have to wait on that um, before we can even submit an offer on that particular home so we'll see if it's still available once that is done but in the meanwhile we're just gonna you know keep looking to see if there's anything else that comes about you know we don't want to be just sitting on our thumbs just waiting for you know something to show up and then the house is gone so we're gonna keep looking the house that we're headed to right now um it's gonna be one of those multiple offer situations um it's, I think it's priced at 205, built in 2017. 
um, from from the photos it looks like it's been you know very well kept so I can already envision a bidding war but we're gonna go see um, the property and see if you know we want to be a part of that bidding war and then we have a um, I believe a town home to go to after that so yeah y'all let's go top of the morning good people it is Tuesday February 22nd it's 2 2 2 2 2 today um my my thing my phone holder broke I need to get a new one um but it's 10 o'clock in the morning I am headed to do the first walk with Antonio on his property Antonio made a decision the other day that I did not advise I do not agree with and he knows this <laughs> to not do an inspection on his property um so you know he just he said he knows that new construction can have issues but he just he doesn't feel like it's necessary so I said are you sure and he said yes and so here we are today we are gonna go do the first walk the blue tape walkthrough you know where the builder goes over the functionality of the home shows you where everything is etc 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 um we'll blue tape any spots that need to be touched up as far as paint wise you know maybe you just you know y'all know y'all know all of that and then friday is his closing and friday is also final walk day so any things that we point out today um, they'll have between Wednesday and Thursday and Friday before 1 p.m. To get those things done, we'll go do final walk Friday and then we close at 3 p.m. Um, so, yeah. Yay! Um, all right. That's cool. All right, y'all. We have arrived. They are currently laying down the sod and doing the landscaping for Antonio's property. See, y'all, this is like... This is how builders build everything <laughs> to the last minute. So over time, this will dry out. You will have to replace it. This is caulking in these joints. Yeah, so you will have to replace it. You're just going to have to have to keep it sealed because you don't want to open the filtration. They will be responsible for their side. Yeah. So it's a kind of a 50 50 deal. Now, once it gets time to change the, the frame out, you know, once it just gives out, then hopefully you have cool neighbors. You can get with them. Hey, you know, go in halves. Let's redo the fence. All righty, y'all. So we finished the first walk, the um, buyer's orientation, new home orientation, whatever it's called, blue tape walkthrough, all the names for it. Um, done with that. Now Friday, we'll do the final walk and closing. Praise the Lord. Now I'm actually headed to do something for myself. Um, <laughs> as some of you all know, you know, this is my year to purchase a house for myself. Um, my lease actually was ending in April, but I just was not ready. I'm like, April snuck up. I haven't needed them in taxes, you know, and I'm definitely leaning more towards new construction. Uh, well, you know, that's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, that's a lie. But anyways, I'm just... I'm all over the place with where I really want to be for myself, price point wise, location wise, like I'm all over the place. Um, I would prefer to be a little closer to the inner city just because of the amount of driving that I do. It would be nice to just be a little more centrally located. Um, <clears throat> but then also I'm a suburbs girl, born and raised, been in the suburbs my whole life. You know, I get more land and yard and house for less money in the burbs. So that's where I'm at with it mentally. Um, but right now I'm headed to, I saw a builder that I liked on the MLS. The houses are still being built. Um, but I called them today just to see it's like a row of like eight houses. They're going to have yards. They're closer to the city. Um, they also have driveways, which, you're not, you know, like those are things that you may be hit or miss when you get closer into the city. So I was like, ooh. And it has three bedrooms with like a study flex space, which is what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm like, okay. So I called the builder. She said that these would be done like around September. I extended my lease for six months. So I, my lease now ends, I think, in October. So I'm like, okay, September, that would be perfect timing. 
Um, so I'm gonna head to basically the developer's office to just take a look in and see what the finishes are gonna look like in the home because they don't have any model homes, right? Like, I have to imagine it in my head, but they offered to let me come take a look at the finishes. So I'm headed that way to go do that. And then the actual property, I may be able to stop by there on my way back home and just show y'all. It's not the most desirable looking area right now, but, okay, we'll see. Kitchen. Oh, you're good. And over mm -hmm. here, we're going into the primary, and then here is gonna be the other secondary. Uh, okay. Kind of bedroom. That is gonna be the backsplash? This, so this is gonna be, um, cause this is for the primary, so this is gonna be like mm -hmm. the wall tile, the yeah. tub backsplash, okay. um, pretty much everything that goes in the tile, even the flooring right here, and the these floor. are the cabinets. Yeah, um, gotcha. Now this is the countertops that are gonna go throughout the entire home. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is gonna be where your shower floor is. Shower floor, floor gotcha. Because you know and then here yeah, you, and you honestly in the back of it it actually shows you the name and all that good stuff oh okay and where it goes yeah we do use abbreviations so no worries. <laughs> if you need help you just let me know um here we're kind of looking at the kitchen the so the kitchen is going to be all bag. white yeah. um countertops with this kind of backsplash okay. i do need to get back to you as to how these are going to be laid laid yeah because i don't okay. know if it's going to be like that this way, you know way. what i mean or even up like this so i gotta okay. double check for you there yeah, and then it's going to be styled with these countertops so okay. there's definitely like a very you know, great yeah, white tones. Yeah, mm, definitely. Yeah. Like, gonna look I really do think. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, yeah. Not feeling this one? Nope. So is this kind of like the... Mm, not bad. Maybe a little bit darker, lighter? What are we thinking about this? Mm, I think I like this one this better. One? It's not exactly what I was thinking, but it's much better. Yeah, well, what, what are you thinking? So like... Okay, people. Food. So, these are the houses that I'm considering. Considering, now let's take a look around. So, directly across the street is just land. Over there is just land. There's two little older homes just right here at the top of the street. So I would probably, all of these are available except for I think this fourth one. So I'm thinking more so like that that last one down there. Um, I don't know, but let's see how go. in and walked the frame house just to kind of get like a feeling of the size. Have the the layout with me here. So of course this is the garage. This little alleyway is the entrance. So you'd walk down a little bit. If you come in through the garage, which I would be coming into the garage, this is your entrance way. So we're here. And then this is a closet. Clearly those are your stairs. This is your entry door. So this is your living space here. Right? Living space. And then... They have your dining area and kitchen is over here. Let me get up under. I'm not supposed to be in here, y'all, <laughs> but I'm a rebel. So this is actually gonna be a sliding door from what I understand. Then this is the backyard space. So it's really deep. I don't know how far back. Oh, by where the, y'all see the pink. those little poles with the pink flags like that basically to that fence line is how deep the backyard space is so that is such a plus and then the kitchen is going to be here kitchen island right in the middle kitchen facing this way then you have a powder bath so i guess this would be a little closet powder bath right there so that's the first floor. Now let's make our way upstairs. Duck. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. All right, go upstairs. Y'all can hear all the banging going on down there because they're currently working on these. Ooh. Okay, we've made it 
up the stairs. Now, we are here where it says flex study. That's this open space right here. So it's not huge, but you know, it's a little, it's something. Now what's really getting me is this closet. So this is the primary bedroom. It's a good size. It's 12 by 15. So it's not too small. This is clearly going to be like windows or whatever there. But get a feel for this closet. This is a big closet. I like it. I like it. And then your bathroom is over here. So toilet, sinks, shower, where this little boxed area is. Yeah. Okay, let's exit the bedroom. So then you have your washer and dryer area right here. And then these are the other two secondary bedrooms. So you have one right here that has a closet, bedroom, has its own full bath. And then you have another bedroom right here, closet, bedroom, and its own full bath, as y'all can see, right? Like the bathrooms back up to each other. One has a full tub and then one has a stand-up shower. So that's a little preview of what I think I like. I think this is 1771 square foot. Um, and yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Then as y'all can see, I don't know what all the rest of this would be, but this end lot, I kind of like. Yeah, so who knows y'all, who knows? And then this is the mock-up of what the elevation of the home will look like. So this window right here is the primary bedroom window. Oh, there's going to be a little window in the closet. I like that. Hmm. Okay, so next up, I'm at this property looking for Jessica. I'm just going to do, I'm going to film it for her, send it to her, see if she wants to make an offer. This property is priced at $175. Uh, it's definitely going to be a bit more to go and show. So technically, you can just go and show it. Like, you don't really need an appointment. But as I looked at the appointment scheduler, she still had it to where you could schedule an appointment. It was booked out all day today, all day tomorrow. So I just booked an appointment for, like, Sunday. And I'm here today because I need the code to get in the door. Um, and I'm just going to finesse my way in here. So I'm going to show this to Jessica, see what she thinks. And if it's a hit, it's a hit. If it's not, it's not. Good day, people. Good day. Today is Thursday, February 24th. The month is coming to an end. Only, sadly, four more days in this month. Um, but we are headed to go <laughs> shoot a video. What else? I mean, what else? Contact, contact, contact. Um, my brokerage is doing a Black History Month video. Um, and I'm a part of that. So I'm gonna go shoot that right hey, now. It is Friday the 25th at Antonio's house. I'm running 10 minutes late. Ugh. And it's time to do the final walkthrough. And it's so muddy. Jeez Louise. Let me tiptoe through here. Oh. So let me go in there and catch up and see what they're doing. So we've run into a little hiccup with the final walkthrough. Antonio's not happy with the finish of the garage. So we're trying to work something out here. We're running a lot behind, but like the garage flooring, which honestly is normal when you have, you know, mass produced inventory homes like this. 
Um, but he's just not finished with it. And, you know, he is buying a brand new home and he would prefer for it to look a little better. So they're going to come out and try to um, replaster the sheetrock a little bit, make it look smoother. But there's literally nothing that they can do. But there's nothing that they can do about this concrete flooring. So I'm going to see what I can do for him to give this a better finished, aesthetically pleasing look um, and go from there. Good Saturday, February 26th. The month is coming to an end. I haven't even like told y'all about closing yesterday because it was a lot, um, but Antonio did close. He signed his documents. Congratulations, Antonio. Anyways, now I'm here shooting the last, um, what is this? The last video for Black History Month Houston with Nick. Hello. Nikki. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> I like the name, Nikki. I thought you were We'll see, and that's fine. Um, and then I have some showings to do today. Um, two showings for a um, virtual client. Well, not a virtual client. Virtual showings for a client that is in California. And then, you all, I think I've talked about this a little bit, that in real estate, especially when you start off, there's different ways that you can be a realtor, right? Like you can be a showing agent, listing agent, buyer's agent, transaction coordinator. Like there's all kinds of different things. You don't necessarily have to take on the entire role of realtor like I do. But an opportunity was presented to me um, via my mother and one of her realtor friends that has, this is not, can you hear me? This one. I ain't turning it off. Oh, you turned it on. You just had it on mute. Oh. Um. So my mother presented me with an opportunity. One of her realtor friends. Put y'all down right there so y'all can see. One of her realtor friends who has um, a full time job needed a showing agent to help her out on the weekends because. Sis has a lot of clients and, you know, most people want to look at homes on the weekend. So she was like, hey, you know, whenever you have a little downtime, you want to show for me, it'll be a 70-30 split. And I was like, cool. So I'm going to start doing that this weekend with one of her clients going to take them out to look at four properties. Um, and then when they close, just like any other transaction, I'll get 30% of her commission. Um, still not working? What's going on? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I think you did something. You know, start messing with my stuff. No. <laughs> Your box is probably not charged. It, no, and it's full battery. <laughs> Don't you try that. Don't you try that. So that's that's what's up. So I'll do it now. Like I have a little a little downtime in my business now, but I definitely know when the summer picks up, I probably won't have time for her clients. It'll just be all my clients, but as of right now, I'm just like, what's a little extra money? It don't hurt, right? Right, so let's film this video and then we'll go do those tours. Hi guys. So it's um Saturday still, the 26th. I have new realtor Sean <laughs> with me. <laughs> I, so I was telling y'all earlier that, um, I, oh, there she go right there. Um, being a showing agent for another realtor so we have been out since what 2 p.m it's almost five now multiple communities looking for inventory and everything is just dry 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 but we're just doing what we can hopefully um oh this is a car one my mama to get the genesis, genesis. the g that thing fire um so yeah i just wanted to give you all that little update because i've been a bad vlogger but Sean just got his license. Say hi to the vlog, Sean. Sean just got his license, so he's learning. And I'm learning this, this new client that I know nothing about. So it's just, I haven't been able to balance. But anyway, she just pulled up. So let's go. Good, blessed Sunday morning, February 27th. 
it is 10 a.m. Had an extremely long day yesterday. Um, and now I am up about to do some virtual tours today. The tours that I was supposed to do yesterday are taking place today. So I am, um, <clears throat> this is um, an investor client. She is based in California, I believe, LA. Maybe saying, uh -uh. she's based in California. Um, she's actually a real estate agent herself in Cali. She found me on Instagram and she wants to, you know, get into this Houston market. She's looking for properties that'll be good for like short term rentals. Um, so, like Airbnb or um, maybe even just like maybe. Um, even like travel nurses and just you know things of things of that nature so she wants to you know say at a certain price point of course she's approved I believe for three hundred thousand um, <clears throat> um, let me see how they go okay yeah so she's approved for three hundred thousand. You know, she would rather not spend that much. Um, so I'm actually taking her to the same townhome condos that I got Jessica under con uh, under contract on. Um, she's gonna see if she likes those, because the price point on those are really good. Um, yeah, so I'm taking her to see um, those because the price point on those are like. I think 202, 205, just depending on if it's a um, end unit or inner unit. They're two bedroom, two bath. I think I showed them y'all. I showed them to y'all in um, the first January vlog, the first year, whatever. Um, do a virtual tour of those for her and she can see if she likes them or not. she's also interested in like duplexes and things like that so um she doesn't know the houston area very well at all so she's depending on me to select areas that would be good for like short-term rental um so these aren't bad because these are really close to um hobby airport um, and then there's also um, the medical center, which isn't too far from here. So that would really be attractive for, like I said, um, uh, travel nurses and, you know, just anybody else that does a lot of travel and, and is needing a short-term rental. This is a good side of town for that. So let me go in. Now that I'm thinking about y'all, I don't think I showed y'all these. And every time I come here, I'm like, why don't I just buy one of these? Although it's not the location of town that I want to be in, but for the price point, it's like, it's a great investment property. I'm really going to have to consider this. So let me show y'all. So it's a single door garage, but it's tandem style. So you can definitely fit um, two vehicles in here, back to back. Of course, storage. There's no backyard. That's not one big reason why I wouldn't want to necessarily be here because my dogs need yard um carpeted stairs which i would probably pull up eventually um wood flooring nice and open second floor living comes with blinds it comes with all appliances. This property is literally move-in ready. Um, here's your kitchen. So these are the standard appliances. This isn't a model home. This is just what they all look like, literally. Y'all know I don't do too much cooking, so there. Here's your stacked washer and dryer. This is the only thing that throws me off about this property a little bit is that there's a full bath. Let me zoom out, okay. There's a full bath right off of the kitchen, but all of the bedrooms are upstairs. So 
that's a little weird, but you know, at least there's two bathrooms. So then we're gonna go up to the third level and secondary bedroom. So this would be good as like an office for me. Yep. And then we have the primary bedroom, which is really nice too. It's a good size, semi-vaulted ceiling, really thick baseboards, y'all. Once again, it already has blinds. And then the bathroom and closet are really nice. So, double sinks, lots of vanity space. And you have a really good size jacuzzi tub, um, a nice size shower, with the seats. Of course, your water closet with overhead cabinets. And then even this closet is a good size. Like, this isn't bad at all, y'all. Not bad. So, this is a property that Jessica has under contract. We should be closing at the end of March. We'll see. And then, um, the other lady that I actually came here to show it to, she liked it. But I'm going to go um, show her some duplexes on a different side of town if I can get in them. And um, I'll show y'all those two. Okay, so here we are in this neighborhood. This is the east side of Houston. So this is the duplex that she's interested in. I was telling her, I don't know how great this property would be for Airbnb, but it's um, six bedrooms total. So this unit has three bedrooms, three bedrooms clearly y'all. Um, so she could probably really um, get long-term rental out here, but they're asking 319 for yeah. it. They're asking 319 for it. So I'm gonna have to run some, um, some numbers to see how much she can rent each unit out for and if it's really even going to be profitable for her because at 319 that means her um mortgage on it would be you know just depending on interest rates and any all, all of that y'all y'all know how that goes um you know about 23 2500 depending on how much she's putting down so if she can't you know we'll have to see yeah we have to see if the numbers make sense if she can rent it for you know enough to cover enough to cover one her mortgage um any other expenses that she's gonna do um so we'll have to see if one, if it's, you know, if she can rent it out and then it'll actually cover her mortgage and then she can be profitable off it too, if it's just even worth it. But this one, this build, like they're not putting any fencing up, you know, like the backyard isn't um, fully like sodded. So she would have to um, come here and do a little extra work. Um, the other property comes with everything, but you know, she's, she, her preference is multifamily. So we're going to see what we can find, but I'm done for today. That's it. Two showings. It's 11 o'clock. Um, I would think I'm about to go home and take a nap. <laughs> that sounds bad. So we're celebrating Black History with the Broadway, Brandy, Ashley, <laughs> Jessica, 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 Okay, we're being black. We're eating. Alright, y'all. Suck y'all lamb chops. Food. Got a little bit of lamb chops, some corn mock chow, some greens, mimosas. Happy Black History Month.